What's up everyone, this is HD Gaming Tutorials here today, bringing you some um, Demon Souls. I'm going to be starting a Let's Play on this game, so why don't we start? I, I think I'll be playing as a cleric this run through, because you don't see too many um, cleric people. Uh, maybe maybe I should play as a, um, yeah, priest, I think that's what they're called. Hey, let me see. Yeah, a temple knight. Ooh, what's a temple knight? Ooh, that looks... Oh my gosh, she's gonna go ham. Uh, but I think we'll play as a uh, priest. I think we'll start off as a priest. They have some decent... They have decent intelligence and, um... Faith and magic, so that's what I'm going for right now. So let's just edit our appearance a little bit. We're, I'm going to be female. Uh, I prefer to play as female characters. Don't ask me why, I just do. Uh... Because I, oh yeah, oh, because I want to, oh. yeah. I just prefer female characters playing them in video games. So I, for some reason, I like the Daiki look. So I'm thinking about choosing that again. That was on my first playthrough. But I think we'll go for the. I think we'll just go for the ponytail look. I think that's fine. Hair color. Uh, we're just gonna go for a. I think we might go for that. Maybe we'll go for a red. Yeah, let's go for a red. Okay, I'm not going to go... That's all I'm really going to do in character creation because I don't really care about character creation so much in video games. I just care about getting into the game. So how about we start? Oh, the, her name will be... Hmm, what should her name be? How about we go for a classic? Big. <laughs> I guess you could bet you guys know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Tits. Come on. Oh my god, I'm out. Big tits. Ma. McGee. This is how I spell McGee, cause I'm pro. You dirty little boy. What did that? Dirty little boy. Dirty little boy. Oh my god. What is it doing? Is that it? That's all I wanted. Big Tits McGee. Yep, there we go. Fresh Big Tits McGee. So let's jump into this game right here. This game is amazing, everyone. I, if you have not played this game before and you have a PS3, download this game. Or, no, I'm sorry, you can't download it. Go buy it. It's only like 20 bucks. It's very good. Now I'll be quiet so you can listen to this. Of souls brought unprecedented prosperity to his northern kingdom of Boletaria. That is, until the colorless deep fog swept across the land. Boletaria was cut off from the outside world, and those who dared penetrate the deep fog never returned. But Valarfax of the royal twin fangs broke free from the fog and told the world of Boletaria's plight. That the old king Alant had aroused the old one, the great beast below the nexus from its eternal slumber, and that a colorless fog had swept in, unleashing terrible demons. The demons hunt down men and claim their souls. Those who lose their souls also lose their minds. The mad attack the same, and chaos reigns. Valarfax spoke of the enticing power of the demon souls. Each time a demon claims a human soul, the demon's own soul is invigorated by the life force, and the power of a mature demon soul is beyond human imagination. The legend spread quickly. Mighty warriors were drawn to the accursed land. But none have returned. Bjor of the Twin Fangs. Yurt the Silent Chief. Sage Urbane. Skurver the Wanderer. The Sixth Saint Astraea and her knight Garl Vinland. 
and Sage Frake Divisionary. The colorless deep fog slowly creeps beyond Boletaria's borders. Humankind faces a slow and steady extinction. The deep fog will eventually swallow all lands near and far. But Boletaria has one final hope. A lone warrior who has braved the baneful fog. Has the land found its savior? Or have the demons found a new slave? So, yes, uh, so, to begin with, we are a cleric, we are a healer, I mean, sorry, we are a priest, which basically is a healer in this game, um, and the only reason I'm going for that, I usually pick mage as my first character, because this game, magic is really OP against bosses, in my opinion, because I took out a boss in three magic hits. So um, we are going to be focusing more on magic than anything else, but we will be using a gigantic um, meat cleaver for our main weapon. Oh, I didn't want to spoil what we're going to do in the future, but that's, oh, it's just, if you want to you look it up, look it up. That's what we're going to be using for our playthrough. Back to slumber. I'm going to try my best not to die on all these bosses. You will hear me rage a lot. And this is what uh, this game's like. It is original in every way. I love this game so much. See, we have the, um, do I have the, uh, yeah, we have the heal ability, which basically heals us, and we can roll. Oh my god, I'm so fucking slow. Let's take off some of this armor. Uh, it weighs so much. Let's take off, no, let's, um, we're gonna unequip this and equip that. I was still slow. Uh, how about we unequip this? we put our chain helmet back on and our chain gloves we're still slow as boop um, the combat's very simple in this game uh, you lock on with the the analog stick and you push um, L1 to block L2 to parry R1 to start hitting people and that's a heavy attack R2 and the the directional buttons change your equipment like this. I just changed to my um, talisman of the gods, and this is my shield. I, can, I don't have anything on my second slot, so yeah. And I have crescent moon grass. Crescent moon grass is your healing items for the game. There's a there's a bunch of different types of moon grass that we will be accompanying. And did I just go? I didn't go back. Okay, good. I thought I went back. Why am I so fucking slow when I just took off everything? Yeah, take off some. Let's take off these pants for this part. Sorry about that. I know you guys don't even care. Let's, um, we're gonna be taking off. I know... There we go. See, now that we've, um, we're not over-encumbered. And this, I'm gonna show you, try to show you a backstab if this guy will stop moving. So, um... Oh, you fucking little bitch. Dirty little fucking bastard. He didn't let us get a backstab off of him, but we'll get one eventually. I want to show you guys, um... Pairing and these um little things on the ground that you, if you haven't been noticing they are messages. See R three is the target, and um yeah I'm gonna try to parry one of these guys. Fuck. Come on bitch. I think oh I just parried him. Let's kill one of them. Come on bitch I can I can get him. I got a heal healing ability. Come on. Come on bitch. Oh my god, I am terrible at this game. Well, at least I can show you the healing ability. This is the healing ability. Basically gives me mo the majority of my health back. That's not all of my health, the majority of it. Which is good. That's a good, very useful spell if I run out of crescent grasses. But, crescent moon grasses, stuff like that. I probably won't, though. Oh, here we go. Oh, that's a parry. And that shit looks so fucking sick. I love parrying so much. Now we just need to get a backstab off, and that would be amazing and these um the glowing things are things you can pick up we just picked up some more crescent moon grass but you probably already know that because you just saw it and swears to use the items but I don't need to because I am at full health 
because of my healing spell. And mana does not regenerate in this game unless you have certain items. There are rings that help you regenerate mana. Do I have any more um, spells? Nope. I saw I've got a heal spell. So let's use our. Let's go two handed real quick. Oh, fuck. Oh, I gotta just get gang raped. Oh, shit. Come here, bitch. Yeah. Um, this game, if you get swarmed, this game can be quite difficult. But, um. It's not difficult otherwise. Come here, bitch. Oh, I'm making it a backstab off. Come here. Well, I can get it. Ugh. I am so bad at this game. Yes, there is a, um, sequel to this game. It really isn't a sequel, but... There we go! Oh, yeah! But, it's called Dark Souls. I, I guarantee a lot of you guys have heard of it. It's a really good game. You guys, you have no idea how good these games are. They're so original. They're just so unique to the core. It's just... It's just awesome. I am fangasming. I am fangirling over these fucking games. But, and if you guys have Demon Souls, please let me know in the comments. I would love for us to play together in this playthrough, in this um, Let's Play. That would freaking be boss, that is. So this is a archstone, and it war warps you to areas. Like, for bosses and stuff like that. It warps you to, not bosses, I'm sorry. It warps you to the Nexus. Um, the Nexus, we'll, you'll learn about that in a second. But we're probably going to die on this first boss, because I haven't beaten him yet. Because I suck. Let's, um, oh, wow. I didn't even know I was already healed. Um, as you notice, our mana did not regenerate still. Like I've said, there are certain items that regenerate mana. And this is a knight. Let's get him a, oh, get that fresh backstab off. Great bitch. Yeah, he's nothing. He's a piece of cake. So, where are we going right now? I know, parrying. I just, I've showed you guys that before. We are going to be, um... I, I, there will be times I might have to cut off the um, recording session because I'll probably have to farm for souls, but it probably won't be, I probably won't have to do that because, oh yeah, and those uh, those guys, you see those little ghosts? Those are other players you see in the world. They are here at this, oh shit, a blue knight. Come here, bitch. Bastard. Get that fresh back, come on, bitch. Well, I can... Oh shit. I can parry him. I can backstab him though. The camera can go a little funky in areas though, so you gotta watch out for that. Did you drop anything? Nope. You dirty little fucking bastard. Oh no, you wanna fight me too? This the uh, crescent moon grass, you know, it doesn't even do as good as the healing spell, so we'll be spamming the healing spell a lot. My bitch. I will be spamming backstabs as well, because they do a large amount of damage. And I will not be using this mace much longer. But I'll be using it for a little bit. And this motherfucker is just blocking everything I throw at him, aren't you? Come here, bitch. How did he hit me? What the fuck is going on? This guy is blocking everything. Come here, bitch. Let me heal. Ugh. And he only did two damage? Okay. We're going ham. Got him. Oh, Yeah, and holding your um weapon in, in two hands increases the damage output that you um give off. Pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. And we will be Yeah, change weapons, but there's nothing to change really unless we've got our magic. But we're out of mana, so we can't be um doing too much magic. Let us talisman. Yeah, we already are using our talisman. Oh, that was a um a soul we can use to um get more souls, which are the currency in this game by the title Demon's Souls. Uh, the currency in this game is souls, so if you know about that, you should be good. Souls are the best things you can possibly do to get in this game. We will be acquiring rare items that I hope to show off. And we will be farming. I will show you some good... If you have this game, I will show you some good farming methods that I've, I've found from my first playthrough. Come here, bitch. Oh, yeah. That's a fresh perfect... Ah, yeah, crack, crack fresh Pepsi. Ah. Okay, no. We're going to use a two-headed weapon. Come here, bitch. Oh. Yeah. This game's not as hard as um, people have been saying it is. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. 
but it can be difficult at times. This game can be a real. This game will butt fuck you. And how did what the fuck did he come from? Hey, you little bitch. Yes, this game will can butt fuck you badly. And it's it's a learning experience. If you die on the first boss, well, not this boss. I'm sorry, the actual first boss. It's a learning experience. Every time you die, you learn something new. You learn not to do this. You will learn not to do that. You know, stuff like that. Or you could just use a co-op buddy and rape the fuck out of him. Which is what I do. When I have co-op buddies playing this game. Which is like... Never. Now this is the first uh, boss in the game. And he is a bitch. Come here, bitch. Oh my god. Thanks for just wasting all my stamina. Fucker. Look, look how much damage we do to him. None. None. But we're gonna try our best to kill this fucker. Hey, little bitch. We're gonna get him, though. I guarantee it. Why? Oh, shit. Okay, we're probably gonna do one-handed. Yeah, but we don't do crap damage, which pisses me off so much in this game. We do decent. Oh, no! He got us! I've never been able to beat that fucker. Ugh, pisses me off. I don't know, but man, I'm not the best at dodge rolling yet, but I guarantee people think that's the easiest boss in the game, but I can never beat him. I mean, if you've beaten him, good for you. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's the only thing I can say. I mean, I, I've never beaten him, but whatever. We are now at the Nexus, and I think there's a little cutscene coming up, so I'll let you listen if there is one. This is where you basically, I wouldn't say you spend the majority of your time, but you spend a good bit of time here in the Nexus. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. Nexus. It holds together the northern land of Boletaria. Thou canst not exit the Nexus, but each of the five arch stones will connect them to the You have died, and the Nexus has trapped your soul. You cannot escape the Nexus. So, um, right now. Uh, we are in soul form. And we got the next heal binding ring. I'll explain all that stuff in the next part. But right now we are in soul form. I'll leave it at that. I hope you guys enjoy this playthrough so far. Remember, if you have this game and you want to be in the playthrough, just leave a comment below and you can help me fight bosses. I would love to be interact with you guys more. But yeah. Um, see you guys later. Uh, there will be more of this if you guys like it. I hope you guys like it though. Yeah. Um, peace out, bros.